I'm Bill Horton, an instructor here at the Applied Technology Center at MCC. Today we're going to talk about gas furnace efficiency and venting systems. First, furnace efficiency determines the type of venting system needed to properly move the products of combustion produced in the furnace to the outdoor safely. This is important because those products cannot be allowed to stay within the structure due to the presence of odorless gases that are poisonous such as carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Plus, high levels of moisture produced by the combustion need to be removed as well. Now let me show you the venting system. It begins at the end of the furnace heat exchanger right here. The design and the material used are directly related to how much heat is produced at the burner and how much is actually distributed to the structure for heating. A quick visual examination of the venting system can generally tell you the, the efficiency of the furnace. Before that though, let's talk about exactly what furnace efficiency is. Furnace efficiency is expressed as a percentage of how much fuel is burned when the gas valve is energized versus how much of the heat the burner produces can actually be used to heat a structure. When the gas valve opens and the fuel is ignited, the amount of heat being produced by the burner will be rated in BTUs per hour. This is called the Furnace Burner Input Rating. BTU stands for British Thermal Unit. It is the amount of energy needed to heat one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit. The burn fuel is then directed into the heat exchanger, which is a self-contained passageway that allows air from the conditioned space to extract heat from the hot combustion products without being exposed to the undesirable products of combustion. This is the crucial point of the heating system as far as efficiency is concerned. The heat available from the burned fuel is extracted by the conditioned air and the remaining heat travels out the chimney. The amount of heat that is extracted by the air being heated is known as the furnace output rating in BTUs per hour. The more heat extracted out of the burned gas and distributed to the conditioned structure, the less heat is wasted out of the venting system yielding a higher efficiency and vice versa. To determine furnace efficiency, all that you need to do is divide the furnace output rating by the furnace input rating. The result will be a percentage or a portion of the whole unit of natural gas being burned because furnace output is always less than furnace input. Natural gas has a heat content rating of about 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot burned. Natural gas utilities typically charge customers by the therm, which is 100 cubic feet of natural gas, or 100,000 BTUs of potential heat. You pay for all of it as a consumer, but only get to use the percentage of it that your furnace is rated for to heat the structure. Furnace input and output information is provided on the furnace rating tag. The tag will be located somewhere inside or outside the furnace. Sometimes it is easy to locate, other times it's not. Most manufacturers give you both ratings, but some only give you the input rating. If only the furnace input is given on the rating tag, then a general estimate of the approximate output can be calculated by visually examining the venting system to determine the efficiency. You merely have to multiply the furnace input rating by the efficiency of the furnace to calculate the output rating. 